everybody, this is Randy with Carchaeology and it is a Monday. And my Mondays these days have been dealing with the mega estate up in Anza, California. Uh, I've done several videos on this stuff, but if you're not up to speed on it, uh, this gentleman by the name of Clem Johnston was a lifetime collector and auto mechanic. And he lived on this property since the 1950s in this very rural area. And he collected everything he possibly could it's the biggest pile of stuff I have ever handled, and it's been an absolute blessing and a blast to dig through it all. We found some amazing uh, discoveries there, some stuff that has now gone on to museums, uh, other cars that are being uh, sent to collectors all around the world. We had a car go to Australia. Uh, we had interesting cars uh, from a guy in England. Uh, but the majority of the stuff is staying close. In fact, today we've got uh, a couple guys coming, actually, I think three or four people that are coming to look at cars. And if everything goes right, we should have three or four that leave today. Um, so anyway, come along with me. I'll show you what happens. And uh, another day of archaeology, digging them up and driving them and getting these cars out into circulation again, where hopefully they can provide some joy and spread the history and, and all that stuff. Reach on, brother, right? Okay, anyway, here we go. Well, the Valiant Buyer showed up, and he and his buddy were very well prepared, had a winch on the trailer, made super quick work of getting this one out of here. This was the family driver for many years. Now, this one I was happy to see go and sad to see go at the same time, because it's definitely one of the one of the key cars of the collection that I kept an eye on and wondered if it would end up with me. It's a 1954 Austin, and it's adorable. I've actually got a picture of myself standing with one of these when I was just a little kid. And so, uh, definite personal attachment to this little car, but uh, exciting to see it roll. Um, once again, it was up on blocks, and amazingly, all the tires held there. So it's obviously moving nice and smooth. It wants to go. So here we roll. So this is the 1954 Austin A40 from the Anza property and we just found a buyer for it and this man is so excited to have this car and I don't blame him because it is absolutely adorable. I mean yeah she needs some love but all the tires actually aired up on it which is pretty spectacular. The car is really complete. Even the trafficators, the semaphores were found in the back seat. The dash is all there. The armor all on that seat ought to do it. Well, maybe not. But anyway, another fun car to dig up and drive. And I'm going to keep in touch with this guy and see what he does with it. Because it'll be a fun one to see on the road again. Gotta keep saving him. So, up, 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 up. The little Austin goes on the trailer. Okay, it took a little longer than that. But there you go. The next one is this 1955 Nash Metropolitan. Now this is a fairly early Metro. You can tell by that hood scoop with kind of the cheese gravy dealy on it. Um, definitely an interesting car. Uh, it's gonna be fun to see this thing come back to life. There you go, she wants to come. Maybe straighten it out. Now the third block. Oh yeah, you can't really. Now they all seem to give us a little bit of grief coming out of the hole. But, uh, but we'll get it done. Fortunately, we've got the tractor here to help. Uh, that makes dragging this old bucket out of here significantly easier. Obviously, the tires are coming off of those wheels. You know, the rubber parts out here in the, in the, uh, in the desert, they just go absolutely dry. And it doesn't take much pressure at all to see the treads come off a tire. But the body's pretty good. This thing was kind of hidden in the trees. Couldn't really see what it was like all the way around. A little dent in that passenger side quarter panel. But uh, that's about it. There you go. Off it goes. Nash made some great cars. I, I think they they're... They did make some great cars. In the early 50s though, in my... In my... 
slowly around the yard, trying to get it up to a spot where it could be picked up easily by a trailer. A lot of the cars on this property are really hidden back in the bushes all across a total of about 10 acres. Uh, and fortunately, with uh, the help of a family member there and the trusty family tractor, we've been able to pull some of these things out to where they can be scooped up. Oh, is it a rat? Yeah. Get out of there. Did he go? One of the big ones? <laughs> we've had a lot of rats in these cars. Go inside. Getting them up on the trailers is not yep, always easy. go for easy. it. Um, Looking good on this side. Yep. A little ingenuity. A little common sense. And a little tractor power. Yeah, I just gotta, there you go. That'll get it done. At it from another angle here. There we go. Are okay, you getting close on this side? Steer to the left. Yeah, definitely. That's looking fantastic. Beautiful. That's good. Awesome. There goes another one. See ya. And the last little bit of the puzzle. Here's an extra engine from one of the Metropolitans. This little Austin four-cylinder motor. That uh, rather than trying to pick it up, these boys rolled it over to the tractor so we could load it up. 101 degrees out of here in Anza, California. That was another brutal but very productive day at this mega estate. We had three cars find new owners uh, and go off to hopefully new lives out there in the world. Um, you know, it's, that's to me the best part. I, it's fun to see these cars get a chance and to go out into the world and hopefully be restored. Uh, the Metropolitan, it sounds like the gentleman's going to restore that for his wife. Uh, the gentleman with the uh, Austin A40 is absolutely in love with that car. And he plans to fully restore that and, and drive it around his little town as often as possible. And then the guys that came for the, uh, the Valiant, you know, the first thing the one guy said when he pulled up was, these run forever. Those little slant six motors well they do that so my guess is they'll have that car up and running and hopefully they'll do something fun with it so another day of archaeology digging them up driving them thank you so much for watching please subscribe i'm going to keep on doing this as long as i'm able take care guys bye, -bye.